How about a hand for all the comedians you've seen tonight? I'm Jeffrey Feldman from Wooden Hills, California. Woo! A little bit about myself. I am a huge loser. Uh, you know that you're a loser in LA when homeless people stop in the street to do a stop and chat with you. And then midway through the conversation, they go, well, nice chat with you, buddy. Uh, I gotta get running. Uh, you gotta uh, keep, keep going with the comedy. You're crushing it. And then you watch that homeless person cross the street, sit at a bus stop, and start shitting in their pants. <laughs> All the while making nice, polite conversation with a man in a wheelchair waiting for the 217. <laughs> listening to Perez Prado tapes on his dip Walkman. <laughs> I live in Culver City, California. Uh, we have a homeless community that we're very proud of. <laughs> Just at the edge of Palms and Culver City. At the, uh, you know, almost, it's like, it's not, it's not quite Palms, but not quite Mar Vista. Um, that's where the homeless people live. And uh, every day I, I look at this tent city in Culver City um, while I'm checking my mail, and I think to myself, why am I spending $2,600 a month to live inside? What am I, a fucking idiot? <laughs> and if it didn't smell like shit and urine, out there in those tents that I would live there, you know? <laughs> these, these homeless that live in these tents, they are way closer to their neighbors than I am to my neighbors. <laughs> I mean, they're close. They're, they're like turkey basting GHB with each other. They're smoking rock with their neighbors' dogs. What's the last time? When's the last time you stood rock with your neighbor's dog? <laughs> yeah, these homeless uh, in this uh, particular tent city in Culver City, um, they're, they're doing a lot of drugs. Um, a lot of them are doing a lot of drugs. They're, uh, they're doing every drug. Um, some alert just went off. Um, some beep just, okay. Um, Casting notice for Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a reminder to him. What's that? It was a casting notice for Andrew. Oh. <laughs> Zing. Okay, so um, these homeless people, they're doing every drug except for shrooms. I don't think that you should ever give shrooms to a homeless person because Sh like, shrooms are for people that go out into nature, not people that live in nature. <laughs> you know? Like imagine, imagine a homeless guy on shrooms on a, on a Saturday at 8.35 p.m. sitting in his tent just having a bad trip. Just like, oh man, I gotta get my life together. Uh, but you know, like, imagine if you did give shrooms to a homeless person and that ended up like giving him a horrible trip and that ended up being the exciting incident that changed his life. And then seven to nine years later, you're, in the, you're at the airport and some uh, clean-shaven young man runs up to you and says, hey man, remember when we were at that drum and bass night in West Covina and you had some shrooms and I was, I was this homeless guy that was just begging for change and you thought it'd be funny to give me shrooms. And I ended up having a horrible trip. I ended up having a horrible night. I ended up, I thought that my tent was a demon. <laughs> And I had diarrhea in my tent, and I threw up in my tent. But you know, after that horrible trip, I cleaned up my act, and I just want to thank you for uh, for for everything. You know, who's to say that wouldn't happen? <laughs> um, I uh, I think it's important to note that all of the homeless that work as superheroes on Hollywood Boulevard. All of them are on meth. 
Captain America, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Black Spider-Man, Filipino Spider-Man, Spider-Man in a wheelchair. <laughs> Is on meth. <laughs> and he needs it. Then he needs it. <laughs> That's what he says when he's sitting in his wheelchair and he's shooting meth. He says, Daddy needs this. <sighs> um, but, like, imagine being the only person in your group of friends that lives in a tent. Like imagine like trying to save money and just like living in a tent, but like you're the only one in your group of friends that lives in a tent. And you like one day you're like, like driving around, you know how you do, and uh, you trigger your friend and you're like, hey is it cool if we stop by my place real quick? <laughs> <laughs> Stop by and pick up my comb real quick. <laughs> you know how you do. <laughs> you know how you do forget your comb, sir. <laughs> your tent. Alternate joke to that. I gotta pick up my Spider-Man costume. <laughs> okay, um, let me just get serious here for a second. You're not here to, to hear about any of that. You're here to hear jokes. <laughs> Okay. Um, I think that uh, legalizing marijuana was the greatest thing that we could have done for the economy of California. You don't have to do anything to sell weed. Do you realize that? Weed sells itself. Weed just, it just sells itself. You don't have to do it. Like they have all these billboards that are advertising like weed delivery, which is like, by the way, it's like, billboards are not the greatest uh, for selling like weed related products to your particular demographic because potheads have a horrible memory You know, so it doesn't matter how big your fucking billboard is They're still gonna be like, oh, what was that uh, weed delivery service? Uh, I gotta drive past Los again 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 <laughs> And everyone's like, but you don't understand there's a healing quality to weed. You don't understand there's the CBD like, 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 weed is the solution to everything. You have restless leg syndrome? Have you tried smoking marijuana? You can't sleep at night? Have you tried smoking weed? Is weed destroying your life and paralyzing you and ruining your career? Have you tried smoking marijuana? Maybe you're just not smoking the right strain for you. Oh, you're right, all this time I've been smoking fuck my life up. <laughs> All I had to do was switch to the strain, get my shit together. <laughs> Ever since I've been smoking, get my shit together, my credit rating is a 720. I have a perfect relationship with my mom and dad. I moved out of my grandmother's basement and I started to help her sell her Tupperware collection. Thank you, get my life together. <laughs> Hey guys, um, I'm looking for a mic stand. I can't find one, I'm panicking. <laughs> now I'm realizing there was no mic stand. <laughs> Don't do that to me, Andrew. Um, I just want to say, um, you guys have been a lot of fun. Um, thanks for being here. This is a show that we've been trying to grow for a while, and I'm, I'm happy that it's like growing. Um, and thanks for having me. All right, guys. Thanks.